Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. Um, a lot of you guys have requested this for quite some time now on my channel and also to on Instagram. So we're gonna go ahead and get started pretty much. I'm kind of just go through my, my routine and also just have a talk with you guys. I feel like this is like kind of like my, my second time doing this. I've done a get ready with me before, but it was mostly like involving like a lot of hair questions. So I'm excited to go ahead and kind of just show you guys some of my makeup tricks and what I do for makeup because I always get asked a lot on how I do my makeup. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get started into the video. All right, so before we get started, a lot of you guys did ask about like my skincare routine. So I thought I would share with you guys a couple of products that I use kind of like on the everyday right before I do my makeup. So first things off, especially now for the springtime, and just in general, I have really bad allergies, and so every time I wake up in the morning, my eyes get really puffy. So I've been using this Florence by Mills, and if you guys don't know who that is, it's a Millie Bobby Brown. She was like the um, Stranger Things girl. She plays Eleven. She actually has her own makeup line, and it's called Florence. But this right here is the Look Alive Eye Balm. And I got this at Ulta, and pretty much what it is, is it has, let's see here, I think it has snow mushroom and vitamin B12 in it, and it comes with a metal cooling tip, which looks something like this. And usually right before I go ahead and I apply this underneath my eyes. First things off before my makeup, I always apply it underneath my eyes, right here. And with the cooling metal tip, usually what it does is it helps re reduce like any type of inflammation on the eyes and any swollenness and it really takes it down. And usually I will just rub this all around my eye. So for primer, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder, the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. And this is my favorite. I've tried a lot of different other ones including the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. And usually I feel like this is where it comes into like my makeup being a little bit distinctive and different is because I hate my natural eyebrows. So I fill them in the best that I can do. So hopefully you guys can see here kind of like what I'm doing. Um, but you know, I feel like everybody has like different eyebrow shapes. And sometimes people look good with like certain eyebrow shapes. Like usually like a lot of girls always tend to do like the basic eyebrow shape that like everyone's into right now. And I guess you could say that's kind of what I'm doing, but um, I just feel like I don't have really that much hair. I wanna get my eyebrows actually microbladed. So I'm taking some time into really like thinking about it and looking into that because I hate that I don't have a lot of hair that grows like in here. Like it kind of starts all the way from over here. So with makeup, that's the cool thing is I'm always able to perfect that and kind of fill it in to make it look like I do have hair there. Okay, so I did my eyebrows and now I'm going to be going and kind of just shaping them up using my Pro Conceal by LA Girl. And this is in, I don't even know what color this is. I wanna say, oh, it's in porcelain. So now I'm going to be going in with some eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Nude by Huda Beauty. But I got this palette at Sephora and I want to say it was like $49.99, like 50 bucks really with like tax and stuff. But um, I did a makeup look here on one of my videos. I think it was like my crimped hair video or like one of my curling hair videos. And a lot of you guys liked my makeup in that so I'm going to recreate that look. Okay, so with this palette I'm going to be going in with Secret. And I really like this color just because I feel like it's not so dark, but yet it's almost like a nude brown. So I'm gonna use this first to apply, kind of just like a base, kind of get it started. So I had a couple of you guys ask me some questions on Instagram. So um, somebody asked a question, what made you kind of start like, getting into hair? And that's actually a really good question just because I feel like not very many people ask me that or like know kind of like my background with like why I started YouTube. But um, what made me start hair, I guess I could say I've always been intrigued by it. Like I've always been into it. Um, it definitely wasn't until probably high school, like my sophomore or like junior year in, in um, high school that I really was like all about hair like I really wanted to like go to school and do it and I actually have a cousin 
that she was doing my hair when I was like a junior in high school and I was going to her and like I remember I had highlights in high school and so I was always going to her to like get my highlights touched up and I don't know I guess just like me being there and like seeing that I had a cousin that did hair and asking her questions I always felt like Oh well, you know, like if she can do it, I can definitely do it. And it was always like in the back of my mind. And I think one of the things too that freak people out is like growing up, I really wasn't like a, like a really girly girl and probably until I hit high school. Um, I always had kind of like the clearest skin. So like my mom like was like, don't wear makeup and stuff. My mom was always like, don't wear makeup and stuff yet. Like you're good on that. You don't need to be wearing all that. So. I honestly probably didn't even really start getting into makeup until I would say probably like my junior year. I think if anything it was definitely my cousin that kind of just like put the seed in my head you know to make me think like I can definitely do this. And so I think that's what started it and then when I, let's see here, when I probably was like a senior, um, I think it was like a college day at like high in like in high school and stuff and like Tony and Guy and Aveda were there and that's where I really started to like get intrigued about like going to school to do hair. So now from that stain palette I'm going to be going in with raw and raw is a really dark color in this palette so I'm just going to be dabbing it on the corners of my eye. to be taking it bare and this is kind of like a white um, eyeshadow and I'm going to be blending this kind of like in this area right below my eyebrow and just make this a really good blend so there's no harsh lines so I'm going to be picking up excite and it's this darker color right here so I'm going to be taking this I'm going to be placing it kind of almost in a way like a cut crease but not really I'm going to be placing it right above, so that you guys can see. The Estee Lauder in the Double Wear, and I'm just going to apply this. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. And I actually like, for my concealer, I like my concealer to always be like a lighter color, just because I like my um, under eyes to be brightened a little bit more. I am so over this quarantine, and I've literally only been on quarantine for a week. I know that there's been people like for two weeks, and my work told me that we're not able to go back to April 10th. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's really in reality like three weeks. We still have really two full weeks until we go back, until April 10th. So this honestly sucks, but I hope that you guys are all staying like safe and healthy outside. Um, I went to the I went to the grocery store this morning and I thought it was so crazy because there was literally people fighting over eggs and I just feel during this time like as people you know we all need to like unite together just because it's just a scary times like even today like where I live I know today they literally just like announced that they cancel school for the rest of the year so I feel bad for like all these poor seniors that literally for one didn't even get prom or graduation like in my head I'm thinking too like how is that even gonna work are they going to give them diplomas or like the kids like like how is that going to even work that's just so crazy to me but I just feel like during this time we all need to like take into consideration to pray for others and just treat others with like treat, treat people nice some days I feel like some people sometimes are just so up like their ass sorry to say that but some people are like all about themselves these days and it sucks because like we all need to be together during this time I'm gonna be contouring my face and I'm going to be using the Hula Benefit bronzer you can get this at Ulta and this is I actually like this color a little bit more because it's a little bit more natural but I'm going to just be contouring my face now Oh, do, do, do. For 
contour my nose i just use this little thing that comes in the hula beauty and i contour it the best that i can i really want like a nose job because i i hate my nose <laughs> Okay, so now I'm baking and usually I like to leave this on for like maybe two minutes. Nothing crazy. I know some girls like leave it on forever. But I actually have a trick that I like to do with my baking. Instead of um, wiping it off, I like to just blend it in and tap it in. That way these parts get brightened, especially underneath my eyes. And for this, I'm using the Fenty Beauty and it looks like this one right here. So instead of taking it off, I'm just blending it in all throughout. With my eyeliner, I drug it in a little bit on the tear ducts to kind of make it look cat-eyed. And I'm going to be going in with some lashes, and I'm going to be using these lashes right here. Now these I got on Amazon, and I want to say they were like 11 bucks. They're super worth it. I don't remember the name to be honest because I threw away the box, but I will definitely log into my Amazon account and get them for you and leave it down in the description box below. But I'm going to be applying these. And also too, um, there was a couple of other questions that somebody asked. So somebody asked if you would want to move away from New Mexico, where would you want to go? I think about that quite often just because that is definitely like something huge in my life that I would want to do one day just because I'm young, I don't have any kids. Um, I for sure would want to move to LA. That would always have been a goal of mine ever since I was young. I've always like been in love with LA. Um, I definitely would love to move there. I also like Phoenix and I really like Colorado, like Denver. So maybe any of those places. I wouldn't mind living in Texas either, like Dallas, um, but definitely those places. So there was another question that somebody asked and they asked where do I shop for my cute outfits and I shop on Fashion Nova, OOTD Fash, I also like um, Pretty Little Thing and also too I think just like Forever 21 or really whatever is open I think I shop everywhere but I think it's like all part of like mixing and matching that you always find like the cute outfits. And the blush I'm using is NARS Orgasm. So now for lips I'm going in with the Dolce K by Kylie Cosmetics. Okay, and then I'm going to be going in with my favorite Jeffree Star. This is Celebrity Skin. Then on top, I'm going to be going in with Morphe, and this is in Boho, and this is their gloss. Like I said, this was honestly a highly requested video, especially like on Instagram and here on my YouTube channel. Three things are my absolute favorites. So you have Candy K by Kylie and Jeffree Star and Celebrity Skin. And then you have the Morphe Boho. This is the lip gloss. And I honestly use this every single day. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to like, comment on this video, and also subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And let me know if you guys want to see anything else here on my channel. I hope that you guys are having a great and safe quarantine really focus on this time to maybe get outside exercise more and also to better your guys' selves before we have to go back to that work life i hope that you guys have an awesome and amazing day and i will be back with more videos